but the it was an insane verdict that was the product. I mean, she had things in there about you know you know sex with dogs and all kinds of social media commentary she, she that the squirrel. judge kept out of the case. That, that squirrel meat was an aphrodisiac oh, yeah, for dogs or something. Her dog, her cat was named. Oh yeah, Vagina. That, was, that was another one. Yeah. She, she's a, she's a, look, uh, wanted I, to be on the apprentice. I, know, I mean, had, had, had again made a history of false accusations that the judge also excluded from the proceedings. Uh, lots of evidence of political bias that the judge also excluded from the proceedings. So the, the, the judge fixed the trial and that when the jury came back, they found no rape had occurred. And then sec the sexual abuse, quote unquote, was basically the tort of battery. It didn't require they find there was sex related. It was just, did anything happen that could be offensive to someone? That, that's really what the what the jury was instructed on. So the 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 media, of course, went with you know Trump found liable for sexual abuse. What they didn't disclose is Trump found liable for offending someone. That would have been an accurate headline. They can't do an accurate headline when it comes to Trump. And then, well, my favorite part was he said he never sexually assaulted her, and the jury agrees. Yeah, no, you didn't. Uh, but we're going to hold you liable for saying you didn't. So that it, you couldn't have a more Trump hating Democratic jury, more evidence that a Democratic jury poll just cannot be impartial in these cases. We've seen it in the D.C. cases. We're seeing it in the New York cases. They're not capable. And at some time, the Supreme Court's going to have to reconsider its wayward jurisprudence over the last half century, eviscerating the meaningful right to an impartial jury. They removed the word impartial from the amendment. And just made it, yeah, you have a right to a jury trial. But the impartiality has been eviscerated. This goes all the way back to the skilling Enron cases and other cases where they deliberately allowed prosecutors to pick from contaminated jury pools of people who have already prejudged the defendant and allow them to preside over the trial. That's a crock and a joke. And if there's in these cases are revealing just how embarrassing that is. It's a verdict that almost nobody could even logically explain. How is it he didn't commit sexual assault, yet the jury said he lied when he said he didn't commit sexual assault? Same jury. It's because they're like, you're offensive, Trump, so we're going to find you responsible for being offensive. So that's what we're really fine, and we're going to fine you $5 million because we don't like you. That, that's it. That's all that no, they, they said, it, they said he, didn't, he didn't rape her. They didn't believe that uh, he raped her, but he might have touched her. So battery, sexual battery. And then when he denied having raped her, which, which means of, uh, an offensive conduct, the way yeah, it was given to the jury. Also, one question that would have clarified that the jury didn't even fill out. Question three is blank. Let, let me bring something up. I hope the audio is going to be good enough to hear just, just to illustrate just how crazy. I don't know if we can hear this. Oh, the fantasy. It's, a, it's inaudible. Yeah. But basically, it's, it's, the Law and Order it, episode that she was very fond of, the same Law and Order that we were just talking about from New York City, that appears to be the inspiration for her, uh, what I believe to be her fabricated story. Yeah, it, it was It was in that episode where the husband is explaining how they have a, a, a rape fantasy in the Bergdorf. Or, in the Bergdorf, the same store. Um, hold again, on, brother. The evidence didn't confirm or corroborate her story. Had they allowed a lot of testimony, the judge also excluded testimony to talk about how the custom and procedures at the time would have had security present, would have had a personal shopper present, that her story was implausible, if not impossible. Uh, but it shows how instant, even the liberal Democratic Trump-hating jury pool admitted that her core allegation against him was false, that her allegation of sexual assault and rape was false. How how weak does your case have to be for a Trump hating New York City jury pool to to say so? But Robert, the thing I found most offensive, I've never done criminal and I only did civil and, you know, never had it. We never never did. We don't do civil jury trials in Quebec anymore in Canada, I don't think. Um, how did, the evidence that got in, were they allowed the, the woman who alleged that he he assaulted her on an airplane in first class in the 1970s. The other report, how did they allow in two other unproven, untested uh, allegations that never met with any criminal complaints, let alone criminal conviction, no civil complaints, let alone civil jury fight? How did they let that in as evidence of MO when they had not themselves been proven and you ended up having an unsubstantiated trial within a trial that allowed Banana Republic lawyers like David A. French to say, 
evidence of other assault was made by way of these two women. How the hell did they let that evidence in insofar as that was by far more prejudicial than it could have ever been probative? And yet her having accused other men of similar sexual acts was not allowed in despite being more probative and less prejudicial. Because uh, the judge knew the allegation. Here's my view. The judge knew the allegations were utterly false. And he is he he would have been morally horrified if Trump would the jury would have let him walk Trump walk completely. So he would rather allow in the most uh, easily reversible trial verdict on appeal. He would rather have an, a verdict that's easy to overturn from bad evidentiary rulings than and than a trial verdict he couldn't stand in the first place. And that that's what he did. But I mean, like that's one of the easiest. Normally, that evidence only comes in under very limited circumstances. You have to show a common modus operandi. You have to have special instructions. Its probative value has to substantially outweigh its prejudicial effect under Federal Rule 403 and, and others. And it didn't. And just as a bunch of her evidence was pertinent material and relevant to her state of mind, to whether she fabricated the story, et cetera, and the judge excluded it. So he made so many consequential evidentiary rulings uh, that are erroneous that it puts a maximum pressure on the Second Circuit to just throw the whole thing out. My guess that ultimately is what happens. There's also constitutional issues still implicated here because the, yeah, the, uh, the statute you know, of limitations, of the Westfall Act. So, and this goes to the federal system. So, the Supreme Court of the United States may ultimately take it up. I think Trump could care less about the verdict. What it shows, it won't impact him adversely politically whatsoever. Uh, in fact, it will, if anything, we're down to his benefit. It already has because it creates a perception of weaponizing the legal system against him. I think the Santos people thought it would hurt. And so they were all eager to announce their campaign sooner rather than later because of it. They don't understand this won't. And so uh, if anything, it just continues to embarrass our legal system, that our legal system is seen by more and more Americans as just a political branch, another part of the political aspect of government. And so I think ultimately, my guess is she never gets paid a penny, nickel, dime or dollar. But she does go down into the Hall of Fame for complete crazies and kooks who made our legal system look bad. And now, Robert, this is this is an amazing thing that also came up. I'll bring this up. The, the sound should be better on this. Uh, she did an interview with her attorney. And then I think someone basically admitted that she had a role in the legislation, in, in, in pushing, promoting the legislation that uh, eliminated the statute of limitations for civil lawsuits for sexual battery, um, such that it gave the window, the one year window for her to file suit for something that had been previously time barred. Let me just see if this is it. Thing that I think um, is really important in all of this, and it's the fact that New York passed this law, okay, yeah, the Listen Adult this. Survivors Act. They passed it just a few years ago. Were it not for that law, you never would have been able to bring this case. And I just think it speaks to the importance Listen for a lot this. of other survivors. Exactly. This would never, I would never have this window, this year of having the ability uh, to bring a lawsuit for rape. Robbie can explain it better. Well, Egan actually helped to get that law passed. Boom. It passed last year. That's it. Uh, we filed, uh, it was Thanksgiving Day. It was the first day you In could case do. We filed for rape. Robbie can explain it. Better. Neither one of these. We actually helped to get that law passed. E. Jean actually helped to get that law passed that she then used in a in a lawsuit that was being bankrolled by a billionaire Democrat activist person to sue. I mean, I don't know if it's true. I mean, she, she might be lying. Well, I mean, I mean, under old definition of some people that got prosecuted, that that what was considered a potential federal crime in New York, which she admitted. Now, I don't think it could be or should be, but until the U.S. Supreme Court reversed recently. Uh, there were lobbyists being prosecuted for simply having influence on the legislature. Um, so the, but yeah, it, it's not a surprise. It was sort of an, it was obvious the legislature was targeting Trump and recreating a law that does so. That's its own constitutional issues, uh, bill of attainder and other implications and ramifications and due process limitations. But my guess is that ultimately she never gets a penny, nickel, dime or dollar from all this.